I do it every time. I'm always muted. Every time I come back on here, I'm always muted. All right, let me start over. It's okay. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome back to Everyday Raphael on Amazon Live. Today, we are going to be going over summer simmer pots. I have all of my stuff laid out here today for a great summer simmer pot. And if you don't know anything about summer pots, I'm going to be the one to teach you today. So, summer pots are great fragrant, home fragrant uh, pots that you can put on in your home. Uh, full of natural ingredients um, from right in your home, from your refrigerator, from your pantries. Um, things that you love to eat, actually, and, and put into all of your great recipe, great recipes and great dishes um, for the holidays. Um, it may be everyday cooking. It may be um, just anything, fruits that you like to eat. So as you can see here, I have a lot of fruits and herbs that I like um, that I'm going to be putting into my summer pot for today. So just stay tuned, take notes, and um, this full recipe will be available on Everyday Raphael tomorrow. Uh, it's not up there right now, but it will be up there tomorrow. I promise you that. So right after this live, I want to get started on that, putting the recipe up there for you guys. But um, other than that, I would like to get the live started for today here on Amazon. First things first, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm very, very happy that the last live that we did uh, two weeks ago did really great. And um, I'm so glad that the new service that I'm using is working out for everybody because you can watch it on multiple platforms. So um, you just don't have to rely on Amazon to watch it. So um, I got people watching on YouTube, um, Amazon Live. And today, Facebook is not working for some reason, having technical difficulties. So, um, I'm very happy about that. Um, where else are we watch, uh, people watching right now? I believe it's just Facebook, just YouTube and Amazon Live. Yes. So, um, hello to everybody um, and welcome back to Everyday Raphael. Um, if, this, if this is your first time, make sure you guys are following and liking the live. Um, and make sure you visit my storefront on Amazon. Um, I have a lot of great products there for you guys to check out. Um, I just added two new idea lists. That's also something I wanted to tell you guys. I just added two new idea lists on there. Um, I did one for gardening and I did one for uh, sweet snacks. So you guys know I like to bake. Oh, I do bake a lot. <laughs> and um, I have a list for sweet snacks. I did um, put a few things on there. I did add um, a bottle of honey and I added these uh, mango pillars. These are very popular um, across the internet right now. Um, they come in multiple different flavors and you can get them here on the Amazon. And I do have them um, here in the carousel as well. Let me highlight those for you. There you go right there at the bottom of your screens if you're on Amazon Live. Um, they have these in multiple different flavors. I believe they have like strawberry, uh, mango, um, to be honest, I can't remember the rest of them, but they have a whole bunch of different flavors for you to choose from. Um, and I chose mango because I love mango flavor, um, uh, candy and different things. So, um, I've been snack snacking on these for a while and they do come in three packs. So the price is good for three packs. Um, and they're delivered right away. I got mine like next day. So I've been snacking on these and I thought I would share that with you guys. But check out those idea lists. Also, um, for the gardening one, I wanted to start vlogging my gardening. I don't know if you guys know, but I do have a peach tree and a palm tree in my backyard that I just planted um, about two months ago. And so far, they've been doing really well. I'm still pruning them. Um, I have to repot them very soon because the pot that I put them in is too small. So I have to um, repot them and get them back so the roots can, you know, expand and grow. So I don't want to plant them in ground because we'll be moving soon. So I don't want to have to uproot them and then move them to a new place. All right. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys right off the top. All right. Back into the summer summer pot. So today's summer summer pot is going to be based on grapefruit, orange, lemon, thyme, uh, peppercorns and I'm going to do a dash of lavender essential oils okay so first you want to start off with a pot of um, a half a pot of water um, this 
pot right here. I believe the size, let me check here on Amazon. I just highlighted it on the carousel for you all. I can't remember the size of the pot, but um, I use this small pot here. And I'm using a glass pot to show you guys like the inside of it while I do it. But um, I use this pot for all of my summer pots. Um, you can use a regular pot, it's totally fine. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. But um, yeah, half a pot of water and you're gonna put all of your things into there. So we're gonna start off with our fruits first. I'm gonna start off with our orange. And you're just gonna slice it into regular orange slices. And if you wanna cut it into halves, you can um, to try to fit more in there. You can definitely do that. Now, as you know, oranges definitely have a, a strong odor, a strong sense of um, smell. So um, make sure that you guys are, you know, not allergic to anything because I don't want to, you know, recommend something for somebody and you're allergic to it. But um, these are really great and I chose these um, fruits because they're very fragrant and their smell. Orange zest, lemon zest, um, grapefruit is very fragrant. So you wanna choose things that are very fragrant for your simmer pots that are gonna smell across your home. You don't wanna put anything in there that's just gonna like smell for the time being and then die down. So you're just gonna uh, put them over into the pot of water. And I think we're gonna do maybe one more slice of orange and cut it in half. I'm going to cut mine in half to try to fit more in there. And you can pack it down. You can make it light however you want it. Next, I'm going to go into my grapefruit. And I love grapefruit. I can drink grapefruit juice. I can, I don't know. I just love grapefruit. A lot of people don't like grapefruit because it's bitter. But I love it. I grew up um, eating grapefruit at my grandmother's house, so <laughs> that tells a lot, I guess, but um, I love grapefruit. All right, so I got my grapefruit in there, and then I'm going to go into it with my lemon. And if you're new in the chat, um, go ahead in there and let me know where you're from. Um, say hello. Nice to meet each and every one of y'all. I'm so glad that you can join the live today. I am um, hoping that everyone had a great weekend over the weekend. I um, went yesterday and got my car tinted because it is extremely hot outside. So I had to get me some more tint to um, keep that heat from out of the car. I'm going to grab a paper towel. Okay, and just like that, you have all of your fruit sliced and in your pot, okay? Oh, I still need my cutting board. All right, and then next we're gonna move into our herbs, all right? So next we have thyme. Um, I decided to use thyme for this because thyme isn't as fragrant, but it still provides um, great notes to go along with these fruits. So um, I chose thyme. Um, I believe in my last summer pot, I did one for New Year's. If you go back um, on my social media and if you go to my website, Everyday Raphael, I have a, um, a summer pot recipe for the New Year's I did. And I put lemon. What did I put in that one? I put lemon, orange. I believe I just did lemon and orange and then I put lavender and I put cinnamon sticks in that one and then I did one last year um, I put uh, I put cranberries cinnamon sticks and I want to say oranges again um, I'm just gonna give me just a moment
I think it was a little too bright in here, y'all. <laughs> I had the lights up a little too high in here. All right, and I'm just gonna dump these. Uh, I cut up my thyme here, and I'm just gonna dump them over into the pot. And when I get done, I'm gonna show you guys how I arrange all of this in the pot. All right, and next I'm gonna go with my peppercorns. All right, so I have these. Uh, I have this peppercorn medley, and it comes with colorful different peppercorns. And I'm just gonna uh, shake that over into the pot. I don't want to put too much because peppercorns do get that like that heavy spice smell that are like interfere with your nose if you have really bad um, like nose issues and like allergies. So you don't want to overdo it with the peppercorns, all right? stuff out the way in just a second. All right. All right, so now we have our pot right here full of our fruit, our peppercorns, and our thyme. And we have our lemon, grapefruit, and oranges. And I'm going to pour over our lemon, no, I'm sorry, lavender essential oils. I'll just be talking all over the place. Like, I got to get it together now. I got to get it together, y'all. So I'm just doing a couple droplets of the lavender essential oil. And I want to stir it just a little bit. You don't want to over stir. But I'm just going to, like, make sure those essential oils get around in there. And make sure everything gets acquainted with each other, all right? All right. All right, so now I'm gonna move over my burner. I had that going for a while, so I think that was what was making me nervous that my burner was going. I didn't want it to keep burning with all these fumes and stuff going around the kitchen. <laughs> all right, so that's gonna start boiling, right? And once it starts boiling, then you're gonna put your lid on. So um, now that that's going, um, if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to let me know in the chat. Um, about your questions, um, anything pertaining to the cinnamon pot, anything pertaining to um, anything baking, home decor. Um, my most of my Amazon lives are based around home decor or baking, um, but sometimes I get on here and do a little personal Amazon uh, things that I like to shop for too, like I did last time with the fashion. So um, just let me know if you have any questions in the chat. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, I'm also available via DM on Instagram at Everyday Raphael to answer your questions. I've just opened up a, um, a subscription on there as well. And I opened up a, what is it called? A channel? What is it called? Yeah, it's called a channel where you can go, where you can like see all of my announcements and everything that I do um and that i want to announce to you guys so i put in there a lot of great recipes and a lot of great information pertaining to everyday raphael and everything that i do on the regular okay also this weekend uh june 14th the 14th through the 15th um in zeblin north carolina i will be there uh, doing a pop-up shop for my business mr sugar famous treats and we will be selling treats there uh, June 14th from 6 to 9 p.m. and June 15th from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, you can find all the information in, on my website, everydayraphael.com, under the Mr. Sugar tab. 
um, and then go to upcoming events and you can RSVP there for free um, and you can get all the information there okay um, what else I have going on I have gotten back into content um, making um, I just released a recipe for cowboy chewies they're a great uh, blondie that I did um, if you don't know what a blondie is, it's kind of like a brown a brownie, but it's um, not chocolate based. It's more just like vanilla based, and it was really good. It had pecans in it. It was really really good. Um, check out the reel on my Instagram, Everyday Raphael. It was extremely good, um, and the recipe is on my website for that as well. Um. Y'all, I'm not sure if y'all can see what I'm seeing, but I'm looking at myself on the TV behind the camera, and it's kind of like um, blurry and real bright. And I'm trying to focus, but it's really um, rubbing me the wrong way. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not sure why the camera is um, doing that. But, let me try something. All right, so I can see our pot is starting to boil. It's still blurry and bright. I'm not sure what's going on, y'all. But, um, anyways, there's always something with these lives. <laughs> anyways, I'm so glad to be here with y'all and, um, actually doing this. I find myself a lot of times trying to refrain away from doing lives because live is just horrifying sometimes trying to make sure everything goes right and to a plan and um, it's just not going to go as planned so just have to roll with the punches um, and I learned that from television production as well doing um, the TV show that I did so you just have to go with what you got I'm do, <laughs> what um, Mariah Carey say I'm going to do the best with what I got okay Alright, so our summer pot is boiling. I don't want to turn the eye up too high because these glass pots are known for breaking and busting and I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time to be scared of that um, from that happening. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it so that he can um, start getting it to boil. Other than that, um, if you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to go through the carousel and make sure I have covered everything, um, which I have not. So, next on the carousel, we have the portable eye, um, the portable burner here. I had this portable burner since 2023, early 2023, I believe, um, because I had to do a chocolate, uh, a chocolate tempering pre uh, presentation for a pop-up event in Fayetteville, North Carolina one time, and I had to um, have a portable eye. And I was like, oh, well, where am I going to get that from? And I was like, oh, Amazon. <laughs> so I um, went to Amazon, got it. And ever since then, I've been using it for content making. I've been using it to um, just take with me on like road trips. Like it's great for everything. So um, it uses the, the little can of butane gas fuel yeah it uses this little can thing right here you can purchase that from Amazon as well and um, it's great I love it it's very easy to use so you don't have to be afraid to like light the gas or whatever it's very easy to use um, and um, it's very inexpensive as well all right, so we're going to go to our next product on the carousel. We have the 12-piece kitchen knife set from Cuisine Art. Um, you just saw me using the green knife. Uh, this is one of the knives 
from Cuisinart that I just used. I have the whole set in the drawer over here. Um, it comes in rainbow colors. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Uh-oh. The knife about to drop in the I don't know what, where all the other knives at, but um, it comes in all of these colors. Um, there are more, but I can't fit them all in my hand. But it comes with all these colors, and um, they're great for different things. I know some of them have different um, like ridges on them. So this one's like for bread cutting. Um, you got one in there for um, I forgot what the other one's for. So yeah, they come with different knife settings and things like that. So. And they're very inexpensive as well. Um, and it'd be a great gift option um, for those who celebrate Pride as well. So I believe that's everything on my carousel. Yeah. And back to these. Um, these, again, are really great. I just got these a couple days ago. And I've been eating them ever since then. I'm still on my first bag. I'm very proud of myself. I've been on a um, no sugar diet. But I still find myself eating sugar every so often. And I'm like, Jalen, why? <laughs> They're really good. It tastes like a pure, a pure mango. And you're supposed to actually like peel them to get to the inside. But I ain't got time for that. Yeah, I ain't got time to be playing with my food. I'm going to really eat. <laughs> Alright, so. Let me get this thrown away really quick. Alright, y'all, so. Um, the pot is starting to boil. I can tell that it's starting to boil. But again, you can find many... Ooh, it's smelling really good already. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Let me leave this lid off here. You can definitely leave the lid off to, you know, make sure that the fragrance go ahead and start smelling across the house. But, um, I can already smell it. And this night hasn't even been on for what? like eight minutes so um, you can find many different recipes on simmer pots um, from me again I'm gonna be posting this one um, as of tomorrow maybe tonight you might get it tonight um, just look out for it in my Instagram stories um, also I might post it on my Amazon storefront as well but you can find many great simmer pot recipes on Pinterest and things like that too so um, Pinterest is my go-to app, okay? But, um, again, you find all these great, all these great resources and great products from Amazon. Um, make sure you check out the carousel. If you haven't, if you're not watching currently on Amazon Live, you can check it out on my Amazon storefront. Um, it's available, the pot is available in the kitchen list. Um, the portable burner is going to be available in the kitchen list just after the live. And then um, the what I, I threw away the um, the mango pack, the pillars, uh, candy that I was just showing you guys is going to be available in the sweet snacks uh, list. Um, and the knife set will be available in the kitchen list as well. But I'm, I don't want to hold you guys any any much longer. I thank you guys for checking it out, checking out my Amazon Live for today. And I hope to see you guys on the fourth Tuesday of this month. Um, we're in the sixth month of this year already. Like this year is flying by, okay? Um, playing no games. But I will see you guys in the fourth Tuesday of this month at 1 p.m. Um, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. And I will see you guys then, all right?